In this video, I will demonstrate you and show you on how you can download and install the latest version of Enhanced Native Trainer in your Grand Theft Auto 5 game. Go ahead and follow each step carefully till the end for the best results. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to visit the link in the description that will redirect you towards my Discord server. After you verify yourself, you will see all the channels. By the way, we've also got a remote installation service. You can pick a package and we will install it for you. But go ahead and scroll down until you see GTA menu. And we're going to visit post number three. Here you'll find three links that we are going to be visiting today. Go ahead and visit them, click on them and start downloading. All three. And after that... You can go ahead and open up your Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and the files we downloaded. If you don't know how to open up your main directory folder, go ahead and right click on it in Steam. Click on manage and hit browse local files. It's that easy and it will open it up. So the next thing that it's, we're going to do is we're going to open up our main folder and the files we just downloaded. So we will be doing this on a clean version of Grand Theft Auto. If you don't have one and you want to have a clean version again, I will leave a link in the description on how to do that. Go ahead and start by double clicking on open four, hit continue, hit accept, hit continue. And after this, you can click continue and it will start installing. After that, we're going to search for open four, right click on it and run as administrator. You're going to go ahead and click on yes. For the first time, you're going to click on Windows. It's going to start everything up. Just wait for it. Be patient. After that is done, you can click on What can I do? Give it permissions. Click OK. Close it down. Go to Tools. Go to Manager. And click on Install if you haven't done any of these. Also create a mods folder and install again. Close. And you can close this up. Then we're going to go to this folder right here go to the bin folder select the two files that i select and drag and drop them in the game directory folder if it's asking you to replace yes you want to replace it to the latest files then we're going to go back and we're going to go to the last folder and we're going to select these two files that i select and we're going to drag and drop them in the game directory folder and that's how easy it is folks what we can do now is we can start up the game okay we're in game and all you have to do is hit f4 on your keyboard and there you go. Now you have all these options you can go through. Trust me, there are plenty. That being said, this video has come to an end. I would like to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave me some feedback and have an amazing, great day. Goodbye.